Hello everyone and welcome to episode 12 of the Buddy Bison Plays Disgaea 2 PC LP. That's a lot of letters. Um, so in the off time I have grinded a bit, uh, you can see here. Um, I have also passed a lot of bills and stuff. So his movement's 7 even though he only has one uh, shoe on because there was a raised movement bill and I did that with uh, a few people. Um, just to make movement even better. So now Hanako is movement 10. Um, I'd like to see. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I can do a lot of stuff. And I can also do, uh, and I also did this for, uh, Gig. So now he can, if he does magic change, he'll be for even longer. Um, okay. So I figured starting off this episode, uh, we would, I also did Cave of Ordeals, got all the way down to five. Didn't finish five, but I got there. Because you can see time's clear to zero. Um, fin figure we would finish all these summoning experiments and just have that be done. Uh, big brother? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Is it serious? What kind of point will satisfy your thirst for battle? I thought about it all night, but I think I figured it out. And this is what I came up with. What the hell did you summon? Shock. Is this woman his strong opponent? Yep, she is the strongest princess in the universe. I summoned her for you, Adele. See, I wonder... I, I guess by this game, she probably would... Well... This game... It, this game's a version of the Dark Hero days. Which is why there's only people up to Disguise 3 in here. But it's just a matter of... Is that truly the... Uh, the... Is that the same now? Because now we have this guy of five, and Serafina is a uh, princess, technically, I think. Unless, because before she became overlord of uh, Beauty Planet, she was technically like a princess overlord. And I guess I would also say Rosalind is also a princess. Because... I would think that Overlord and King are rather synonymous, um, especially when you look at uh, Usalia's planet with uh, her mother and father being the King and Queen, but also the Overlord. Um, it's not like I like princesses, I just like you. <laughs> Shush, what is this nonsense that you're spouting? Enough already, I know you guys are one of those, those couples, but why don't you take care of this little princess over here? So this this is easily one of the scenes that says this is after the main story. But they still frame it in a way in which, like, if you weren't really paying attention, um, you could still be like, oh, this is before the end. Or this is even, like, you could do this from the get-go. Uh -huh, sound rather scary. Uh, I've been looking for you ever since you got lost, and here I find you slacking off. I'm sorry, but that's because you left your new wife unattended to for such a long time. You have some nerve, mister. Huh? Wife? You two are married? Oh, you are married to this princess? Despite your looks, you must be quite a Lothario. I traveled all over the netherworld looking for you. As a result, I became much stronger. <laughs> Princess that pose the house strike. Oh, man, that that seems like it's gonna be tough. Seems like it's gonna be really tough to beat. Oh, gee, Willikers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Looks like your house strike is no match for my Vulcan Blaze. Almaz, were you training while we were apart? Of course, cough, cough. It is my duty to protect you even upon death. Then why you stay away from me for such a long time? Well, there's a good reason for that. Hey, you're pretty good. Usually it's the princess who needs to be protected by the knight, isn't it? I think you'll find that I'm a tad more robust than most princesses. And I believe that she, her title is like Robust Princess in most games. Robust. Uh, you see, I'm a princess, and where I'm from, the princesses are often kidnapped by the Overlord. But I just couldn't stand waiting to be abducted, so I left to go kill the Overlord before he did anything to me. What an aggressive princess. I have much to learn from her. You don't have to learn that. 
Yeah, please don't. If you get too strong, I won't have a purpose. Anyway, now that I found you, I might as well why don't we go back to our world. Um, Princess, actually, Miss Hanako can only summon us. She can't send us back to our world. That's why I couldn't come back to you earlier. What? Is that all? Then I don't see a problem. You don't? Even if we can't go back, we still have each other. Aw, how adorable. That's true. Because of Alma and Sapphire, join the group without your consent. But they consent, and that's important. Oh, they're a stupid couple. Sorry, Adele, but she's already married. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, if all of us want to defeat the Overlord, then why don't we all help each other out? Hey, you have a point, but... See, isn't my summoning magic great? I did bring you satisfaction, didn't I? Well, I am satisfied, aren't I? Don't ask me, although since you do lust for the company of princesses, you should be doubly satisfied. Look, liking princesses is fine and all, but don't go after some other guy's wife. There's a commandment about that. I never said I was going after anyone's wife. Oh, you go out with married women? You're definite playboy. Just so much of Disgaea's communication happens around just not caring what anyone else says and not listening to them. I said I'm not like that. You gotta believe me. A married princess whom Adele is insanely in love with, Sapphire, has joined the group. That's not true. And I do like how you can imagine that the narrator is just completely fucking with the characters. And Adele, uh, specifically. Yeah, robust princess. So, combat prin princess of Alman's dreams. First strike, first win. Uh, adjacent allies, magic range plus one. Here, wannabe with a decent name. As you can see, he's a loser. Uh, a kind chroma from Phantom Isle. She can communicate with ghosts. Um, a phantom who lives with Moroni. He thinks it's a duty protector. Girl, member of the Celestar. She daydreams, which runs in her family. Another personality, Queen of Claire. Carefree and actually kind of nice. An all around popular mascot girl. She's getting more and more exposure. An overlord who can see the future. Is she stalking Overlord Zeta? Okay, and that's all the DLC. I'm gonna save here just to make it go, and let's go. So I thought about uh, grinding specifically for I think this one map, but I realized it wouldn't uh, be something I would want. Huh. Killing all these stupid things was just a waste of time. Is Overlord Zenon even on this worthless mud ball? No one's even seen the bastard. He must be hiding, dude. They said Overlord Zenon lived on Veldheim on yesterday's news. And we saw Overlord Zenon's daughter. He must be here, dude. Then why didn't you catch her? Don't tell me a spoiled little princess beat you up. <laughs> we'll catch her next time, dude. We bought these provocative photos of her from a talking frog. And they weren't cheap. We could pass them around to help find her, dude. Tink, you are a shrewd businessman. It is some kind of trick, princess. Their cunning trap to sabotage our perfect chemistry, huh? You mustn't be fooled. Dude, it's her. She's Overlord Zenon's daughter. That's her? Isn't it a little convenient that she's with the first group of people to pass us by? It's great! We found her, and we get to keep all the photos! Hey, those are... aren't they the lackeys of some demon lord who wants to oppose Xenon or something? Are they truly demon lord Etnas? This is convenient. I shall rid you all at once. Perhaps you should not, princess. Oh. I cannot bear to see you turned into a frog as well. But if I defeat Etna, I may be able to return you to your human form. Listen, you. Which one of you is Demon Lord Etna? Show yourself at once, for I am Rosalind, the only daughter of Overlord Zenon. I challenge you to a duel. Hey, what are you doing? How is losing a duel going to help me find Xenon? <laughs> oh, so you're Overlord Xenon's little girl. I guess you really do exist. Women and children should stand back. Now, where is this 
demon lord Etna. Um, hello. I am demon lord Etna, but you can call me beauty queen Etna. Sacre bleu! Lies! You do not look anything like the one who turned me into an idiot frog. What? Demon Lord Etna was not the one who attacked my father's palace and changed Tink into an ugly frog? Hey, I thought you said Demon Lord Etna did all that stuff. What's wrong with you? Well, you see, someone powerful did this to me. It wasn't Overlord Xenon, so it had to be Etna. Or so I thought. You were wrong all along and now you're mad at us? Your red personality really bites. But there is some truth to what Tink said. How can we be certain that she is Demon Lord Etna? It is difficult to imagine that a Demon Lord would have such a flat chest. Flat chest, huh? Ah! You are a demon lord! I am your loyal servant, master! Please, I am yours to command! Damn, that was a quick surrender! Don't you have any pride? I proved I'm who I say I am. But what about you? Are you really Xenon's daughter? Y yes, I am! I am Overlord Xenon's only daughter! Great! Can you take me home to daddy? Like, right now? Why? Why? So I can kill him and make myself the new overlord, silly! But, chop chop! I don't have all day! Or, I could amuse myself by killing you all, one at a time. Qua? Who the hell brought us out here? Oh, damn it! It was me! I... I won't help you! I, Rosalind, will not be coerced! Aww, are you trying to protect Daddy? You are so adorable! Don't help me, then I'll just have to kill you first! I apologize, I shook drove by outside, if that came up on the mic. Very determined. I don't really like demons or girls, but I respect that you're risking your life to protect your family. What's your problem? Why'd you get in the way? Because I promised her that I would return her to her father. So, I can't let you kill her. I must protect her. What is this nonsense? She was attacking me. Why didn't you run? I made you a promise. I'm gonna keep that promise even if it kills me. You... You are that devoted to your silly ideals? You were actually going to keep your promise to me? Overlord Zenon's daughter? What? You don't believe me? Son of a... Fool! You are going to get yourself killed! You may not care if you die or not, but won't Taro and Hanako be sad if you do? Don't worry. I won't die. I still have other promises to keep. I still have to defeat Overlord Zenon! I don't understand. Everything you say and do is contradictory. You don't need to understand it. All you gotta know is this is just my style. Uh, guys, I'm still here. You're either really brave or really ignorant. Mm, my money's on ignorant. Okay. So, fighting Etna, she's really powerful. <laughs> Which is why I was like, hey, maybe I'll try and do this thing. But the uh, fact of the matter is, she is 
if you kill her, you actually get a premature ending. Um, so, I don't really want that. Um, but what I am going to try and do is see if I can just be a cheeky bastard about it. Um, go over there. And take you out. Because if I'm able to... If I'm able to do it, then... Um, going to that and that. Okay, yeah. So she is really hard to hit. Um, yeah. Um, if I hit her with paralyze, I might be able to hit her, but. Um, as it comes down to it, it's just easier to... Uh, it's just easier to do this. I'm picking uh, that one up just because I'm like, hey, maybe, uh, uh, maybe... Ooh, throw four, are there any throw fives? Yeah, there's throw five over here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe, you know, if I get her with uh, Paralyze, then I'll be able to hit her with a uh, health. Um, and if I do that, maybe I could potentially win and show you a different ending. But not all that important to me. It's funny how the Prinnies are all pretty damn weak. They're like at level with what you would expect. But then Etna is it's several thousand. Um, okay, so come over here. Let's use... Nope, that missed. Can I use an item on her? Everything has a 1% chance of getting stealed. Um... Oh well. Um... Yeah, I can kill things. I will say, I do like this music, though. Um, I should probably turn on enemy effects. That way, uh, you can actually see what the her attacks look like. So I actually don't really plan on using Anna all that much, even if she is one of the characters, because you do get her. I'm going to say that. Uh, I don't think... I'm not going to count that as a spoiler. Powerful demon, looking for trouble, strengthens Prinnies. I'm, I'm not going to count that as a spoiler, simply because of the fact that this game has been out for a long time. Um, but yeah, she's a spear user, uh, easily, along with gun and axe. I'm surprised they didn't give her spear S, but that's beside the point. That is neither here nor there. Um... Actually, I wonder if combo would have any effect on me hitting uh, her. So the thing is, it's being really annoying by being super circuitous and uh, trying to move around to the back. Yeah, okay. And this is gonna be annoying, because these guys aren't gonna be able to kill my people. <laughs> they don't do nearly as much damage as they would have to, to even come close. So I really just want Etna to use some AoE moves. Sexy beam! That's what I was looking for. Wasn't getting it. 
Um, Baby. Baby. Um, okay. Yeah, just end turn. Thank you. Albuquerque. Okay. I think there are no. I think Sexy Beam has a hit range like that. But I can just do it even easier. Put her. Put them in a place like that. Yeah. Just deciding to use melee instead of uh, actual attacks. And there's the fight. What power? This is the strength of a demon lord? Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't even a warm up. That was just to show you how strong and beautiful I am. So, princess, ready to take me to daddy? Wait. You sound like you've already won. Isn't it a little early for that? Uh, Adele? The fight's just getting started. I haven't even played my trump card. Why do boys always feel the need to show off in front of girls? Now, I was kind enough to let you live. Don't tell me you enjoy this. I always keep my promises. Whatever it takes, I will take you back to your father. Why? I am Overlord Zenon's daughter. I am your enemy. Why are you trying so hard? I hate lies in any form. You hot blooded punks are always such a pain. But maybe I should just put him out of his misery. No, wait! I'll make this easy. Just tell me where Overlord Xenon is. But if that's how you want it, this is your last chance. I can't tell you. Wow, you're a cold-hearted bitch. Sorry, boy toy. You heard the princess. I don't care. I choose to fight. All my life. I've always had my own style. Aw, oh, how touching. Now you get to die in your own style, too. Wait! I really can't tell you! Sure you can. You just don't want to. No! You, you don't understand. The reason I cannot tell you is... I, I don't know where my father is! I have never even met him before! <laughs> It's six o'clock and time for the news. Let's start today with an update. Since the confirmation of Overlord Xenon's whereabouts, the backwater world of Beldheim is the latest travel hotspot. <laughs> Everyone just wants to go to Veldheim to get a chance at we killing Overlord Xenon. We on Veldheim as this story develops. Will Xenon finally be revealed after a million years? Wow. Will someone finally bring Xenon's reign of terror to an end? Demon and overlords around the universe are seeking the challenge. What the hell was that? I sacrificed my own health to give them that information and they didn't even mention my name? What about my glorious comeback? I started this whole craze. I made this Veldime rush possible. Why didn't I get any credit? <laughs> the network execs canned us out of everything. They don't even have our money. I called them, but they all act as if they don't know anything about us. No. Have they abandoned me on this hellhole? Me, Axel, the dark hero? <gasps> they have abandoned us. <laughs> Unless the network sends a crew to pick us up, there's no way we can return! 
no, the gig's not over yet. I'm Axel, the dark hero. There's no situation I can't rock out of. <laughs> Axel, darling. I've got a reason to go back and a home to get back to. Okay. Oh, damn it. How could I lose to that girl? Just be glad that you weren't hurt that badly. We should thank that demon lord for allowing you to return at all. I'm pathetic. I can't even keep a single promise. I'm all talk. If only I was stronger. But hasn't it been like a really long time since you've lost a fight to anyone? That demon lord must be really strong. Don't worry, brother. I'll get him back for you next time. She is sort of right. It isn't like you to be depressed. Just get stronger and beat her next time. But damn. Adele, just be happy that you're back home with your family. I know you're mad because you lost. I also know that you're fighting so hard for us, your family. But for us, what matters most is that you come home alive. That is what we hope for the most. Please, make me a promise that no matter what, you will come home alive. What's with the change all of a sudden? You're usually screaming at me to hurry up and defeat Xenon, but now... Adele? Okay, I promise. I will come home alive. What's wrong, princess? You haven't said a word. Does it hurt somewhere? No, that is not what disturbs me. Princess, that's amazing! You healed faster than everyone else! Episode 4, Axel's Scheme. Okay, so with that, I'm going to end this episode here, because we're already almost 30 minutes in. So I hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me in the next episode. Bye!